Hajj. More than 30 centuries ago, the father of the prophets, Ibrahim, peace be upon him, came to the venerated Mecca. Allah ordered him to leave his wife, Hajar, and his son, Ismail, peace be upon them both, in the wilderness there. When they had finished all their food and water, Allah made the spring of Zamzam gush forth for them. And since that time, different tribes began to arrive at the location of the water, and life began flowing into Mecca. It was Ibrahim, peace be upon him, who built the foundations of the house in the sacred precinct of Mecca. With time, the tribes began to increase in number as they arrived one after the other, and eventually the management of the state of affairs of Mecca became that of the Quraysh. After many centuries, the sixth century after Christ, to be exact, the seal of prophets, Muhammad, peace be upon him, was sent as a prophet with the final legislation, one of whose pillars being Hajj to the sacred house of Mecca. Allah the Most High referred to Mecca in his statement, Verily, the first house of worship appointed for mankind was that of Bakka, meaning Mecca, full of blessing and guidance for the Alameen, meaning mankind and jinkind. Throughout the last 14 centuries, the Muslims kept arriving at the venerated Mecca, which enjoyed a high degree of attention from them developing and expanding it and making it a center from where the light of Islam emits to the whole world. The Prophet peace and blessings of Allah be upon him said, Medina and Mecca are surrounded by angels. Each path leading to it having an angel guarding it. Neither the Antichrist nor the plague will enter it. As he peace and blessings of Allah be upon him also said, a salah in the Haram mosque is more rewarding than a hundred thousand salah in another mosque. And he, peace be upon him, stressed its virtues in his saying, By Allah, you are the best of Allah's land and the most beloved of Allah's land to Allah. Allah also threatened any who intends to do evil in the sacred precincts with his saying, and whoever inclines to ilhad, meaning evil actions therein, or to do wrong, we shall cause him to taste a painful torment. Allah made the Kaaba as a Qibla, meaning a direction of prayer for the Muslims. As he says, Surely we shall turn you to a Qibla, meaning a prayer direction that shall please you. So turn your face in the direction of Al-Masjid Al-Haram, meaning in Mecca. And wheresoever you people are, turn your faces in prayer in that direction. Due to the great merit of the city and this ancient house, Allah made Hajj obligatory for the Muslims in his saying. And Hajj, meaning pilgrimage to Mecca, is a duty that mankind owes to Allah, those who can afford its expenses. The Prophet peace be upon him verified that it was one of the pillars of Islam in his saying. Islam is built on five pillars and mentioned one of them being pilgrimage to the house. Also the Prophet peace be upon him encouraged the people to perform Hajj in his saying, whoever goes on pilgrimage to Mecca and did not engage in Rafath and Fusuq will have his past sins forgiven.